morning everybody it is wednesday november 21st i don't know it's the day before thanksgiving look i wanted to show you this little girl let me pause the christmas music this little girl is testing out her crib nobody worry she's i'm in here trying to clean and organize all of this that's got her old clothes in it that has like um, zero to three. She still has a couple of three month stuff that fits her that I kept in her dresser. But I need to get it all organized. All this needs to go in there. That pile I think is too small. I have to put in there. But I need to get organized. She's just testing out her crib. She's not sleeping in there. Although she looks like she might want to. So she's just, I just wanted to show you guys her in her crib. Yeah? Do you like your little sheepy? Come here. Yeah. She's playing with all her toys. So obviously once she sleeps in here. We, we've thought about, we talked about, oh look at the snow. Can you see it? So pretty. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out the driveway, but that's okay. Um, Kurt and I talked about actually last night because her co-sleeper is too small for her. I'll show you. She, like, in the early morning hours, like, around, like, 5 and 6, she'll start to, like, kind of arch her back. And she'll use her feet and, like, this is the bottom. She'll push off. And then her head is up here. And this is metal. And she always, like, jams her head into that. And then she obviously isn't happy so this morning when i started to hear her stirring i noticed her head was against that even though i per put a burp cloth over it so it wouldn't be as hard um when she hit her head against it so i pulled her down away from it and then she slept until like 8 15 which is really great because lately she's been waking up at like 7 um so we talked about Kurt making like a bed rail or something for the side of our bed because she really can't fit in her co-sleeper anymore and she's not sleeping that great in it anymore because it is getting small for her and she's a wiggle worm and wiggles around in there. That was a very long rant. I'm not sure why that happened. But I just wanted to basically show you this nugget testing out her crab. Do you like it? It's so big and spacious compared to your co-sleeper, huh? But yeah, so when she starts taking naps in there, which we talked about trying to get her to take naps in here during the day to get used to it, we're going to have to like take out the stuffed animals in this blanket because I noticed she likes to pull on it. But I'm thinking I might keep the bumpers on just because she can roll from her back to her belly and her belly to her back now. She's a little over three months, so that makes me feel more comfortable. Plus, like I just said... When she starts to wake up in her co-sleeper, she like pushes her feet either against the ground or against the end of it and hits her head at the top of the co-sleeper. So I don't want her to hit her head like on these bars. I'd rather her hit her head on the bumper. So what do you think? What do you think? I also just wanted to point out when I put her in here, she was like in the middle and now she's all the way over here. Cause she's a little wiggle worm, huh? Your little wiggle worm. We want to get closer to the blanket and your little sheep over there, huh? Is that true? Maybe. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Happy almost Thanksgiving. Look who just woke up! <laughs> she had a good nap, let's see. She slept for... Oh boy, I don't know what time she fell asleep. I would say at least an hour, which is really awesome because normally when um, I'm home with her during the day, she'll fall asleep in my arms and if I attempt to put her down, she'll wake right up. So since she put herself to sleep, uh -uh. she didn't wake up when I put her down because she was already laying down. Do you want to show them the sad little scratch you gave yourself on your nose? Let's see your little scratch on your nose. Wait, hold on, sit still. Oh, look at that little scratch, baby. Oh, 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 I was trying to show them the scratch on your nose. It's not focusing. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I wanted to show you. There we go. 
Uh, let's pick you up so you can come with me. What I got for my birthday. Look at this glorious thing. I have tried a couple things. I've just, I haven't really had a lot of time. I've just been messing with it. Um, there's that. And then just these little random pieces because I haven't had time to actually like make something with it. So my sister-in-laws are coming over tonight and we're going to um, put, well, I'll show you. We're gonna put our names on these little tumbler things. Whoops, I think they're wine tumblers, but I'll probably just use mine for not wine because I breastfeed. Just these plain black tumblers that we got at Michael's. And we're going to, I think we decided to just put our names on them with, let's see. With this vinyl, it's like rose gold kind of color-ish. Um, and so I haven't done anything with vinyl yet, so I just cut this out. You can't really see what it is right now. It's supposed to be an M with um, flowers on it. Oh crap, I think I forgot to mirror it. Well, I saw a learning process, which kind of stinks because the materials are kind of expensive to make mistakes with. But I was gonna, it's this gold color. I was gonna cut out an M and put it on my laptop but I'm pretty sure I messed it up already. So I'm gonna go find out. 12 seconds later. I freaking messed it up. But I guess that that's what practice is for. See if you guys can see it. Okay, so you see the M. It looks great and everything. You can see like the flowers around it, but I didn't mirror it. So when I put it, like this is the side that's gonna stick on the laptop, it's gonna be backwards, so. I don't know what to do with that now. I guess I just throw it out, which stinks. All right, I'm gonna try again. Guys, I just need to like learn more before I go ahead and just make projects. I should have cut a smaller square of this vinyl stuff and stuck it on here because now I need to try to cut it off the mat so I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Basically is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be quite honest. I think I'm just ruining the vinyl I do have left. Oh my gosh. Basically, I don't know. I, need, I clearly need practice. Wow, I am royally messing this. Up. Also, I've only been able to play with my cricket like, like this is the third time, and I always end up holding her, which is fine, but it just makes the projects a lot harder. Um, the one from Mama. Do you see yourself in the camera? Say hi. Oh. And she's very vocal lately. She doesn't really talk. She more kind of screeches. She's very loud. She wants you to know she's talking to you. Oh, sorry. I can't help it. They're so kissable. Yum. All right, guys. Here's my project. You peel this off, the white stuff off. Well, okay, right there, and that's the gold side. So you could see how this would be backwards if this is the side that's supposed to stick to something. So I'm gonna try to do it the correct way. Mirror on. Here it goes. Nugget. She is all about the roll in these days. Wow, I'm super close. Baby. What happened? What'd you do? You guys 
What's that? You see yourself? That's you. You are all about the camera, huh? <laughs> she knows. She's gonna be a YouTube baby. She knows. All right, let's check my project. I put it on fast mode. I think it's the right way. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's doing its thing. All right, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself. Final product on my laptop. La! Doesn't it look so pretty? So I was gonna put it the other way, like that, but then I realized when my laptop's open, I wanted it to be like that. I feel like it turned out so good. The only thing is, like this was the first time I used vinyl, and I realized as I was pack, uh, peeling like the sticky back off of this, that I chose like I chose I chose a really like at least for a beginner first time using vinyl a really complicated picture whatever you want to call it symbol because it was just hard to peel all the sticky stuff off around the leaves and then like get it placed down perfectly because it's all connected so it was like folding in on itself I was stressed a lot. This is a stressful hobby, and if you have anxiety, you might wanna think about it, because I didn't consider that when I wanted to buy a Cricut, and now I love it. I love crafting and doing this stuff, but like, I don't know, it just makes me like have anxiety. But I think it turned out so good. It's so pretty. It's not exactly like centered, and there's like some spots. See if you can see. Yeah, right there, where it's like not perfect. But I think it's pretty darn good for my first time using vinyl. I'll give it like a seven out of 10 on maybe a six. You keep kicking the end of the camera. Look at all the drool. You're just a drool monster. Look at this cute outfit. I thought it was pajamas, but there's buttons on the back behind her neck. So I think it's an outfit. Look at this cute girl. She knows the camera. Like she, she knows what's up. Same with my phone. If I go to take a picture, like she knows that I'm doing something. What is it? Oh, yeah. Ow.